Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fabulous. In today's video, we're going to be talking about forgiveness. Okay, I know some people have grudges and they just don't know how to forgive somebody. They don't know how to let go. Okay, so let's talk about it. Let's see how you can forgive somebody and move past it. Okay, if you're interested in this video and if you know somebody that will be interested in this video, tell them to watch it and you stick around to the end okay let's do this you know i know you have these special people in your life these people that have been there for you for a long time you've been there for them you've shared so much with them you have so many memories and you call them you ride or die we ride together we die together and then at some point, they seem to disappoint you. They do something behind your back. They hurt you so badly that you, you begin to question everybody's integrity around you. And you vow never to forgive that person. I will never forgive that person for what they did to me. After trusting them with my life, they hurt me that badly. I will never forgive that person. For starters, I understand that... It, it hurts when somebody you trust, somebody that, you know, somebody that you, you, you can vouch for, you know, somebody that, you know, you understand what I mean, it hurts you. We know that when somebody you love backstabs you, it hurts so badly. But one thing you need to remember is that even though he did, even though she did that one bad thing, she has done a hundred good things for you, with you, even behind your back. So, this grudge that you've been holding on to, this thing that you've been holding on to for a long time, how do you let it go? And how is it going to help you? Well, when you, when you forgive somebody, you do it mostly for yourself and not the other person. Because if you hold a grudge, it's, it's going to be weighing you down, to be weighing on you. You know, every time, every time you think about what that person did, every time you say, I hate that person, I hate that person, I hate that person, you have kept that person in your mind and you've imprisoned yourself that way. That person may say, okay, she hates me, I'll live with it. But for you, you keep on remembering what happened, how, you know, all those things. So when you forgive the first step to forgiveness is to accept that this thing has happened and no matter how hard you try, no matter how much you hate the other person, you cannot change the fact that it has happened. And the second thing is that you allow yourself to feel the pain. Okay, feel the pain. It's understandable. Tell yourself, okay, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I need to express my pain. You understand me? And then the other thing is you try to... If you can, reach out to the other person and find out why they did what they did. You understand me? Then from there, you look at the bigger picture. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it this way. If this person is 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 he is it better? Does it benefit my life better if this person is in it or if she's out of it? And another thing is that we learn from betrayal, all these things teach us something in one or another so either way it's a win-win for you forgiveness is a very a hard process and it's stressful sometimes you know because each time you say okay let me forgive this person it's going to you know you you still think about it and say okay uh -uh. somebody cannot hurt me like that and go scot free and you know you'll be sitting around telling yourself ah I'm going to be waiting for karma. Karma must visit that person. Mm -mm. She cannot. She, can, she can't do that to me and get away with it. Lie, lie. You are only torturing yourself. You are only hurting yourself. It is you that is, you know, you know, you're going backwards. Instead of progressing, you're going backwards because you're holding on to the past and you're letting it eat you up. If you forgive that person genuinely from your heart, you realize that you're going to feel like a very huge weight has been lifted off your shoulder. Sometimes, the people that hurt us 
are not supposed to be, you know they're not meant to be to, to last a very long time in our lives so they'll do certain things that will make them you know they'll push they'll push themselves out of your life okay so that better people should come around and for better people to be able to come around you have to let go of those people that you've imprisoned in your mind do you understand me I know you say okay I can't see the bigger picture of that person hurting me but with time you know as time as you know as you progress as you go you're going to realize that okay if I was with this person if this person was still in my life I was not going to meet this other one because maybe just maybe that person would have pushed this person away you've hurt somebody before somebody has hurt you before it's it's a circle of life you have to accept that it happens but what you don't have to accept is the people that you keep imprisoned in your mind because it is not them that you're hurting it is you that is getting hurt it also it's it's the same when when it comes to relationships Sha. your boyfriend is gonna hurt you so badly and you're going to break up on a very very bad note and you're going to say that one ah that one will suffer for hurting me in this life he is not going to suffer for anything if he was meant to hurt you like that for you to learn a lesson or something like that then that is how it's going to be you have to realize that even though that person hates you hurt you at that particular point they still give you some good memories stick to those mm? people are not perfect you don't expect a human being to be perfect we are not jesus christ you have to accept that a human being is not perfect they are prone to error so it's up to you to forgive or to hold a grudge but if you hold a grudge remember that you're not hurting the other person you're hurting yourself that is it so that's it about forgiveness and how it affects you and how you can move past it forgive and forget i know it's easier said than done but trust me once you do it you are free. You are as free as a bird and you can fly. Like that. Okay. That is it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a beautiful week ahead. Good day and God bless you. Bye-bye.